Hey y'all, if we're just now meeting, hi, I'm Stacy. I'm a paramedic instructor, and I get quite a few people who will ask me to do a radio report example, and I resonate so much with this because I struggled so much with radio reports when I first began in the field of EMS, and it actually took me a while to get the hang of it. So as much as I'm hesitant to post a mock radio report, and I have a whole series of them on my YouTube channel, but I always get comments like, oh, that's too much information, that one's too long, or you forgot this, or what have you. This is why it's so important to get a basis of what you need in your radio report, but then also learn the needs of your hospital. And just know, if it's not exactly how you would do a radio report, that is totally okay. Medic 1 to General Hospital for patient report. Go ahead, Medic 1. Medic 1 is currently en route to your facility, code 3, with the 62-year-old female. Medic 1 is going to go ahead and call a STEMI alert. Chief complaint is chest pain with the patient rating at a 10 out of 10. Be advised we have transmitted a 12 lead to your facility and ST elevation is noted in leads 2, 3, and AVF. There does appear to be reciprocal changes as well as right-sided involvement. Current vitals are as follows. We've got a heart rate of 74, O2 saturation of 94% on 3 liters per minute of oxygen, BP of 113 over 61, that's 113 over 61, and a BGL of 110. We have established bilateral 18-gauge IVs and administered 324 milligrams of aspirin, 0.4 milligrams of nitro, 50 micrograms of fentanyl, in addition to 250 mLs of normal saline. If there are no further orders or questions, we should be arriving to your facility in approximately 5 minutes. No further orders. Be advised, we're calling a code heart, and upon arrival, report to the cath lab. General Hospital, clear. Copy that. Report to the cath lab. Medic 1, clear.